Um, okay. I overstayed my visa two weeks. Um, there's something else I'll tell you about as soon as we deal with that. Uh, so I went to the police and I told them my story. Um, I told them my entire story, not just that. Um, and uh, I had problems with my heart. I had to go to the hospital, get medicine for my heart. Uh, so I fly to Bogota in, on June 2nd from Quito to Bogota. Um, and they said, just come here. The you need to come here or no? Yeah, they said I need to come here, yeah. Let me help you. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you my, my, my yeah. visa. See, it's... It's um, two, two weeks, <clears throat> approximately. Oh, 13 days. I kept them in my other, I kept them in my other, um, just basically medical records, prescriptions, and stuff like that. Um, June second, I fly to Bogota. Why? Why? I have to go to Hong Kong and then uh, Beijing. But um, after you fly to Bogota, you cannot come back to Ecuador. For how long? Nine months. Nine months. Okay. Or if uh, you get the visa, you can come before that date. Just go to your embassy and get a visa. Yeah. Tourism visa or something like that. You okay. Want. Well, I have uh, medical reasons why I, uh, I had to stay because of my heart. I had to go to the doctor. They had to prescribe medicine for my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, but you, you have 90 days to stay here. And you okay. are 48 days over plus. Yeah. 40, 48? 48 days. No, not, you said 90 days. No, no, no. Now you have 40 days uh -huh. past the time. How, how long do you have? You. I thought you had 90 days. How many days do you have when you get here? How many? 90 days. 90 days. And but you I, stay here 138 days. 48 days more. Wow, I didn't know that. I thought I was only, I thought I was only 13 days over. No, <laughs> 48 days over. When you, when you are going to fly, yeah. and someone like us is are going, to say you, is going to say you that you are not going to uh, able to come back to Ecuador in nine months, or if you have a Okay, okay. I have another story, um, you, speak, you speak in English. Um, I'm a whistleblower, uh, blew the whistle, I used to work for U.S. Department of Defense and the Federal Emergency Management Agency in America. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been interviewed by Discovery Channel, etc. Well, the Ecuadorian military intelligentsia uh, and a military base interviewed me, called the police, told the police take me immediately to immigration and let this man apply for asylum and humanitarian protection. This was uh, over two months ago. Um, the police never came to take me back. They brought me here on, on a Saturday. They said it was closed. They, they brought me here. And then they took me to another place near Mariscal. Uh, and they said it was closed. But that's a lie because there's a, still a receiving process on the weekends. That was a lie I found out. Okay, so the point is, um, after military intelligence interviewed me and told the police, the police put me in the police car and said, okay, we'll escort you to immigration. Um, because they, the Ecuadorian military intelligence 
I tell them I fear for my life. And they say, you take him, you go with him. You don't drop him off, you stay with him. And then you take him to his hotel and you watch him, you watch him. Well, they wouldn't do nothing. They, they went, they, they brought me here on a Saturday and then um, they took me to the other place. They said it was closed. It's closed. Yes, but, but there was still a receiving process on the weekends. Uh, but in any event, um, here's the point. Um, according to the United Nations Convention for Refugees, there has to be a receiving process. Yeah. yeah right, even on the weekends when people come. But you, you have to go to the refugee. <clears throat> So I've been waiting. So I so I I've, I've been waiting. Uh, for, you know, I don't trust the police are corrupt. I mean, American police are corrupt. I mean, you know, but but Ecuadorian police are really corrupt. You know, they're institutionally corrupt. The army no, army is good, but the police are corrupt. Um, uh, the uh, so uh, that's what I looked at on the on the news. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I don't trust them, you know. Um, so I came back down here, uh, and it was closed again. Um, and uh, so now I'm forced to leave the country because um, Ecuadorian police didn't do what military intelligence told them to do, and that was to make sure that I was able to apply for humanitarian no, protection and asylum. It. You can do it. There's no problem. I can do that. Okay. But I don't know if you want to do that, you, you didn't come to the, the refugee protection administration, you, you didn't go there. Uh, you said no one told me the location. I knew there was a receiving area, I just didn't know where it was. You see the Gizia Agosto Avenue and Colón Avenue. Carrion Avenue. Near uh, Mariscal. Near what? Near Mariscal. I don't much No. 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 As, uh, near or around the, the um, Ministerio de la Ciudad de Dios, Foreign Affairs. Why did police wait two months not to help me? I don't know. Really, I don't know. But. But you can go there. Yeah. Just... This is a taxi? This yeah, is a taxi. Okay. You, you, you have to say to the direction the uh, over here. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Gracias. Okay. Um, what about my passport in case something goes wrong? Do I need a stamp on my passport? No, they are not. They're going to stamp my passport? Okay, all right. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. This is Brian too in uh, Quito, Ecuador, back at the immigration office. They just told me, as you heard them say, I could apply for asylum. The police should have taken me two months ago. I never did. It's all a corrupt game. So now they're sending me to another address. This is the third address I've come to apply for asylum. Third address. Brian Tu, Quito, Ecuador, May uh, 30th, 2017. Operating with less than three hours of sleep, sleep deprivation, torture, altering of sleep patterns, brutally tortured, directed energy, CIA, DI, trauma-based mind control. Here, just left the Office of Immigration here in Quito, Ecuador.